The Mystery of the Lost Parrot. Hey, Loli! Did you find a stick for the top of our sand castle? No. But how does this look? <laughs> it's the first time I've seen a flagpole with eyes and a hat. Whoa! Sure. Oh. What's that? Huh? Ah. <laughs> it's just a parrot, Lily. Ah. Just a parrot. Ah. A talking parrot. He must belong to someone. I wonder who. So do I. It looks like... We've got a mystery on our hands. And our shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Busy Town Action Bug News! This is Goldbug, reporting live from the Busy Town Park. So what's the latest buzz from the sandbox, Huckle? This pet parrot seems to be lost. And I'm going to solve the mystery of where his home is. Ready for it? has a pretty colorful mystery on his hands. And that's the buzz in Busy Town. Stay tuned for important news updates. Pistachio's a pretty bird. Did you hear that? Pistachio is a pretty bird. I guess we know his name is Pistachio. That's a start. Now where could he live? The only place I've ever seen a parrot is... At the pet store! Maybe that's where Pistachio lives. To the pet store! Rock, <laughs> Pistachio is a pretty bird. A pretty bird? Oh, hiya, Huckle. Hello, Loli. I didn't know you had a pet parrot. Hi, Mr. Pat. Pat. This isn't our parrot. We found him in the park. You mean he found us? <laughs> right. Anyway, we were wondering if he belongs in your pet shop. In your pet shop? Ah, uh, in your pet shop. No, I only have canaries. They sing beautifully, but they don't know how to talk the way a parrot can. You're right. He can talk. So maybe we can just ask him. Pistachio, where do you live? Uh, where do you live? Uh, That's what I'm asking you. <laughs> Parents don't understand the things they say, Huckle. They like to copy the words and the sounds they hear around them. Oh, are you copying me? Are you copying me? <laughs> well, I guess you are. <laughs> Whoa, that's an interesting sound. I'm sure I've heard it somewhere before, but where? <laughs> hmm, I don't know, but I've heard it before too. Wait a minute. Didn't you say parrots copy words and sounds they hear around them? Yes, that's right. That means Pistachio probably heard that dingling sound where he lives. So if we can figure out what makes that sound, then maybe, maybe we, we can, can find, find Pistachio's, Pistachio's home. home. Thanks, Mr. Pat. You're welcome. Good luck, boys. Good morning. No, you won't. Well, too. I know I've heard that dingling sound before, but where? Think, Cockle. What could make that sound? <laughs> Besides pistachio. It's some kind of bell. Right. Now, where is there a bell in town? The fire alarm bell! Maybe pistachio lives at the fire station. I hope there isn't a fire at the fire station. Smokey 
made us extra spicy meat to wash it down with a gallon of water chili for lunch again. Yup. Uh-huh. Sparky, would you mind ringing the fire bell again? Just for a moment? We need to hear what it sounds like. Not at all. Oh, that sound is very noisy. I think pistachio sounds softer and more musical. Don't you? <laughs> Thanks, pistachio. Perfect timing. It's definitely not the same sound. Which means pistachio didn't learn it at the fire station. And he probably doesn't live around here. We could have told you that. If we hadn't eaten so much spicy chili. Woo! Thanks anyway. Not to worry. There must be lots of other bells in town. We just need to keep looking. somewhere near the train tracks, do you? It's possible. Maybe he lives at the train station. Only, I don't remember seeing a bell anywhere inside it. No, but there's a bell outside the train station at the crossing gates. Smart thinking, Loli. We can compare the sound of the crossing gates to the sound pistachio makes. Follow that train. The train is already gone. I guess we'll have to wait for another one. It shouldn't be long. According to my calculations, another train will be by in... three seconds. Three, two, one. Ah, there it is. No, crossing gates aren't making the same bell sound either. Well, that's two bells we can cross off our list. Golf Bug here for an important Lost Parrot news update. Tell us what you've discovered so far, Huckle. Well, we know the parrot's name is Pistachio, and he makes a ding-a-ling sound. A ding-a-ling sound? Yeah, like that. Did you hear him? He just made the sound again. Uh, Huckle, that wasn't Pistachio making the sound. Are you sure? But if it wasn't Pistachio making the sound, then... It must be the ding a ling sound we're looking for. Come on! You heard it here first, folks. The buzz in Busy Town is that Huckle and Lowly are hot on the trail of a ding a ling. Whatever that is, stay tuned. The ding a ling sound. It's gone. Where did it go? I hear it. Only now it's coming from over there. Quick, follow that ding a ling bell. It's moving! It's moving! It's moving! What could have a bell on it that moves around town? Hello. Well, that's not the right sound, so we know it isn't a bike bell. Right. So it must be from some other kind of vehicle. Huh? Mm. Marshmallow is the best flavor of ice cream. Marshmallow? It is not. Pineapple is the best flavor of ice cream. Ice cream! Ice cream! <laughs> Let's ask Huckle. Which is the best flavor, marshmallow or pineapple? Mm, well, actually, I like raspberry ripple. Rock, raspberry ripple, one scoop or two. Huh? One scoop or two? Where did you learn to say that? Rock. That's it. An ice cream truck. It's an ice cream truck making the ding a ling bell sound. So that's where we've heard it before. Where's the ice cream truck? It's heading this way! No, it's not! It's heading that way! There it goes! It's heading for the park! See you later, Pink Will and Pink Wall! Bye bye! Oh. Oh. That's it, all right. It's just like Pistachio's ding a ling sound. I bet Mr. Hippo knows where he lives. Pistachio! I've been driving all over looking for you. So you know who Pistachio belongs to? Of course I do. He belongs to me. <laughs> I'm so happy you're back. Happy you're back. Happy you're back. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know where to find me? Well, here's what happened. We compared the ding-a-ling bell 
sound Pistachio makes to the different bell sounds around Busy Town. And when we heard the bell on your truck, we followed the sound until we found you. Ah, that's very clever. Uh, very clever. Very clever. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray for Huckle! Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one too. There you have it, folks. The mystery of the lost parrot is solved. Rock. Mystery solved. Mystery solved. <laughs> the Monster Mystery Hi, Huckle. Lonely? I'm right here, Huckle. <laughs> Hi, Lonely. What's it like being a yo-yo? Oh, it has its ups and downs. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. I'm gonna go find someone else to be my yo-yo string. What you doing, Uncle? I'm watching Nancy. Oh, what's she doing up there? She's a chimney sweep. She's up on the roof so she can go inside our chimney and use those brushes to clean all the soot out. It looks pretty dirty. All over the place. Slow down, Sally. Take a deep breath. It's a monster! A monster? Ah! There's no such thing as monsters. Then who made those? Hmm. Well, I don't know. And you know what that means. It's a mystery! Busy town action bug news! Bug reporting live on the street where the action is. What's the buzz in Busy Town, Huckle? We're going to solve this mystery and find out who made those footprints. Ready for it? Here goes! Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, Say how? Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Everybody! Who, what, when, where, why, how? Solve a mystery! find out who made those footprints and prove they weren't made by a monster. A monster? Who? Oh, boy. Now that's a scoop. No, no, no. There is no monster. So Huckle and his fearless friends are going to solve the monster mystery. But of course, there is no monster. Especially not one with sharp teeth and pointy horns. Monster! <laughs> and that's the buzz in Busy Town. Goldbug, over and out. So what do we do first? Any ideas? Whoever made those prints was going that way. If we follow the prints, we'll catch up to him. Or her. Or it. Oh, oh I don't want to catch up to a monster. There is no monster, Sally. Come on. Ah! Ah! <laughs> expert mystery solver. No, you're not. I am. <laughs> you're both expert mystery solvers. Come on. We were just following those... Oh, no! The water washed the footprints away. We'll have to look for another clue. This footprint has pretty swirls. You're right, Sally. So the monster must have swirls on its feet. Monster! <laughs> There is no monster. <laughs> I need that. No, you didn't. Did you? No, you didn't. Hmm. I don't have swirls on my feet. Me neither. But I do have a pattern. A stripe pattern. So, bare feet don't have a pattern, but shoes do. 
Whoever made these prints must have been wearing shoes. A monster with shoes? I don't like the sound of that. <sighs> How can we find out what shoes made these prints? Maybe Sam the Shoemaker would know. He knows everything about shoes. Yeah. We'll need to show the footprint to Sam. So I'll try to make a print of it. It worked. Now we have the footprint on paper. Let's get busy, Tim. Interesting. Hmm. I'd say this print was made by a boot, but uh, I've never seen a boot with that pattern before. Another clue. Whoever made this print was wearing boots. Oh, no. A monster in boots. That's even worse than shoes. Well, hello, Jillian. Hello, Pedro. <laughs> Huckle, they're wearing boots. We should look at their boots and see if they have swirls. Jillian, may we please see the bottom of your boot? My boot? All right. There are circles, but no swirls. And her boot is a lot bigger than our footprint. So Jillian didn't make the prints. Can I see your boot, Pedro? Sure thing, kiddo. Pedro has zigzags, not swirls. And his boot is way smaller than our footprint. Pedro didn't make the prints either. That's because they were made by a monster. A monster? <laughs> there is no monster. Oh. <laughs> oh. Blue is my favorite color. No, it isn't. Orange is. Blue. Orange. Blue. Orange. Blue. Orange. Oops. Oh. Look, Preston's boots don't match either. See? No swirls. And his footprints are blue. That's because he walked through blue paint. The mystery footprints aren't blue. They're black. So whoever made them must have walked through something black. If we find out what the mystery person or <laughs> monster walked through, we'll have another clue. Yeah. Time to go back home and take another look. Let's go. <laughs> Prints were made by someone wearing boots that have a swirly pattern on the bottom. And the boots are smaller than Jillian's boots, but bigger than Pedro's boots. And whoever made the footprints stepped in something black, but we don't know what. And maybe it wasn't a monster, but maybe it was. Monster? Sorry, Huckle. <laughs> <laughs> there is no. Hey, where'd they go? In there! We'll just, uh, keep an eye on things from in here. Or we're safe from the monster. But there <laughs> is no monster! <sighs> Where were we? We were trying to figure out what the black stuff is. Right. Is it black paint? Paint is wet. This stuff is dry and powdery. What else is dry and powdery? Hmm. How about dirt? This dirt is dry and powdery, but it's brown, not black. So the person who made the prints didn't step in paint or dirt. What did they step in? Hmm. What was that? It came from inside. The monster's in our house. <sighs> Let's take a look. <laughs> you look funny. No, you look funny. Ah, it's only Pig Will and Pig Won't. What's all that black stuff, Huckle? It's called soot. It comes from fireplaces and gets in the chimney. Soot is what the chimney sweep cleans out of the chimney. Right. So when Pig Will and Pig Won't were playing in the chimney, they got soot all over them. 
And now they're getting that dirty soot all over Mom's carpet. She's gonna be mad. Black, dry, and powdery. Hey, this is what the footprints were made of. So whoever made them walked through soot. Soot is inside chimneys, so whoever walked through the soot must have gone inside the chimney. Santa Claus, he goes down chimneys. Yeah, but not in the summertime. Um, right. Who else would go inside a chimney? Hmm. Someone who builds chimneys, or fixes chimneys, or... Cleans chimneys! Goldbug on the scene with an action update. Go ahead, Huckle. I think I know who made those footprints. Come on! Nance, can I see your boot? A perfect match! And it's covered in soot. Black, dry, powdery soot. Here's what I think happened. Nancy cleans out chimneys. That's why she's got soot on her boots. When she walked down the sidewalk, she made those black footprints. <laughs> <laughs> so a monster didn't make them. Whew. A monster? Is there a monster here? No, because there's no such thing as monsters. Yay! Everybody all together solve the mystery. Huckle, you can solve one too. Hooray for Huckle! I didn't do it by myself. We did it together, because we're a mystery-solving team. Yeah! Monster, because there's no such thing as monsters. Right, Huckle? Right, Sally. 